Here are the instructions for obtaining a vehicle title using the Vermont process. The way that it works is in the state of Vermont, they actually do not issue titles for vehicles older than 15 years. What they do issue is a registration ownership document. That document is their version of an ownership certificate. The way and reason that that is valuable to a potential customer is that if you don't have sufficient documentation to get a title from your state, you may have documentation to get a vehicle registration ownership from the state of Vermont. Now, you don't have to go to Vermont. The vehicle doesn't have to be in Vermont. Uh, you can do this all by mail. Here's how it works. You obtain the Vermont new registration application. It's called form VD119. What you do is you fill out that form with your information. And again, you can be out of state, non-resident. You fill out the vehicle information, the VIN number, year, make, model, and you attach to it a valid bill of sale that you've received when you acquired the car. And that bill of sale has to have certain elements on it. A name of a seller, name of you as a buyer, the VIN number, description of the vehicle has to have some price. It could be a dollar, it could be anything to show that there was a consideration for the vehicle. It also has to have a signature and a date of that transaction. Once you have that, attach it to form VD119, you mail it to Vermont. The fee ranges from $48 to $76, depending on type of vehicle. There may also be sales tax on the vehicle due. There may or may not, depending on the scenario. Once that's received by the state of Vermont, they will mail you back a vehicle registration document. Now that document is their version of ownership. So once you have it, then you would then bring it to your state, present it to your DMV to exchange it for a title. This is a very common solution used by people to get titles. There may be some exclusions why it may or may not work. If there's a lien on the car, if it's there's some hold or block on the title in your state because of past due registration or past due taxes. But in most cases, this is the process used. Again, this is something you can do yourself. Um, you don't have to pay four or five hundred dollars to pay somebody to do it. All the forms and instructions are available uh, online to do this. Be aware that you may receive license plates with this registration. The license plates technically are valid, but you probably don't want to drive around on them too long in your state because your state probably has a requirement that if you're a resident to use registration from your state to operate the vehicle. But the registration document may be used to get a title from your state when all other avenues have been exhausted. Just check with your state's laws and maybe get legal advice to make sure it applies in your scenario. But if it does, those are the instructions on how to obtain that vehicle registration and then turn it in for a title in your state.